So let's explore how we can use ID tags in a simpler way for tags. Any tag can have a special ID. So as an example, I'm just going to insert an image, insert an image, command option I for Macintosh control, option I for Windows. We're going to navigate our way to where files are kept. And I'm just going to put this little monkey here. Now, this is just for search engine purposes. I'm just going to put in M-O-N-K-E-Y. You should put something in there. Now, let's say that you have different varieties of monkeys, like the South African tree monkey and the Brazilian green monkey, et cetera, et cetera. You can be as descriptive as you want with this section. We're just going to generically put in the word monkey. You should put something in there because that's for search engine purposes. So by default, my image tag, I have an image tag rule that floats images to the left, which in this particular case is totally fine. I want to float this to the left. I'm going to copy that down here and paste. And I'm going to down here and I'm going to paste. Now I have three separate monkeys. Now rather than go back to my image menu and insert, which means I now have to type a new Google search engine text phrase for that, which I don't want to do, I can simply double click, double click and get another monkey double click and get another monkey okay so now i have three monkeys here okay now this is my objective this is what i'd like to do this is floated to the left which is totally fine this is floated to the left i want to float this one to the right i want to float this one to the left so i want to stagger this i want to have every other monkey float to the right so a simple way to do this now in this particular case if you only want to do one differently i will use id tag for that if you do Many of them floating to the right, I would do a class tag for that. And I'll explain the difference in just a second. So in this particular case, we're gonna select the tag. Now, how do I identify this image separate from this image separate from this image? Well, a simple, simple way to do that is to identify this tag. So I'm gonna ID the tag, select the tag and give it an ID. We're simply gonna call this S-E-O-C-O-N-D second I-M-G, second image. Therefore, I can talk to it. So I'm going to select the tag, make a rule. Now, again, very important step here. The rule structure as it sits, this is how it's going to write the rule. I don't want to be this specific. I just want to do something like this. I want to say this ID tag, kill the paragraph. I don't want to make it specific for paragraph. So inside of main content, inside of main content, I'm going to say second image. Okay, it okay. Now, I can get this to float to the right by floating to the right, it now floats to the right, but here's a bit of a problem here. It's parent tag is the IMG tag for the entire site. The parent tag to this tag is the IMG tag. Now, I've crossed out the IMG tag floating to the left by floating this to the right, but the thing that you have to pay attention to is that this original IMG tag that floated to the left had margin space to the right. So if this is floating to the right, I want margin space to the left, let's say 1.2 M spaces. This now has margin space to the left, but unfortunately it still retains its margin space to the right because the parent tag, very important to understand, CSS, cascading style sheets, it cascades down. It's a parent-child relationship. Its parent IMG tag has margin space to the right. I don't want to have margin space to the right. So what's the value for nothing? The value for nothing is zero. Zero is a value, just like two is a value or three is a value. Don't confuse zero with nothing. Nothing, nothing is default, default to the parent. So zero is an overriding a number that overrides the value of its parent, which was set to 1.2 to the right. Now, if the apply option, this doesn't have a right margin space. Make a change, save a change. Now, what we've accomplished here is totally acceptable for, in this particular case, I have three images, and I just want to float one of them to the right. So a simple way to, sol to solve that problem is to give this an ID tag. Now, let's make this a little bit more complex here. Let's say as an example that I want to have, I'm going to take this image here, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste this, and I'm going to take this content, I'm going to take this content, copy, return key, paste, return key, paste, return key, paste, return key, paste. Now, in this particular case, now I only have three monkeys here, so a little bit of a 
imagination has to be used. I'm just going to aesthetically change this by making this different monkey. So I'm just going to double click here, make this a different monkey, double click here, make this a different monkey. Now here's my objective here. I want every other monkey to flow to the right. Okay. Now a simple way to do this would not be to give this, I don't want to say image two, image four, image six, image eight for ID tags. You're going to drive yourself insane here. So how can we solve this problem? I get every other one to flow to the right. So we can do this by creating a class tag. Class tag begin with a period. So I select the monkey here, select the tag, and I make a rule. Now again, I have to pay strict attention to the fact that I just want to do an image tag inside the main content, not inside of P for paragraph. I just want to say IMG. Now, class tags are first defined, so nothing's going to happen. I'm going to define what the class does. Then I'm going to assign it to something. Define the class, assign the class. Image, period, defines the class. So period basically tells, I want to now create a class. We're simply going to call this R-I-G-H-T, capital I-M-G, F-L-O-A-T. Now, again, just like an ID tag, it doesn't matter what you call this. You can call this a monkey breath. You can call this Al Pacino goes to the movies. It doesn't matter what you call an ID or a class tag. But you want to call it something that makes sense to you six months from now, six weeks from now, tomorrow. So this is going to be a class tag that's tied to the IMG tag specifically for main content. So I can hit OK. Now, again, class are defined then class are assigned. So nothing's going to happen when I define the class. Something's going to happen when I assign the class. I have to define what the class does, then assign it to a tag. So we do this by going to box category, float to this, this to the right. Now again, similar to what we did before, if we float this to the right, we want to margin space to the left. So we're going to say 1.2 M space to the left. And just like ID tag for floating to the right. Its parent tag was the image tag. I don't want to have margin space to the right, mm -hmm. so I need to put in zero. Zero, no space to the right. Now, again, nothing's going to happen here because I just got done saying that class tags are defined, then class tags are assigned. I define what the class does here. I define what the class does, then I assign it to something. So how do I do that? Very simply. I select the tag, I select the tag, down here select the tag and assign the class called right image float. Now notice what appears here. What appears here are class tags. ID tags don't appear here, HTML tags don't appear there. Inside the class pull up menu is right image. Now notice the name of the class is not period right image, it's simply right image float. The period denoted as a class tag. So a very important step here guys. A class can be used on the same web page a gazillion times, but an ID tag can only be used one time with that ID. So as an example, I could have a wrapper tag, but I can have another wrapper tag. I can have wrapper two, wrapper three, wrapper four, but only have one ID per page, per page. So I'm going to take this image here, select the tag, and float this to the right. Now, if you have to do 50 or 60 of these, it would have been common sense for you to select the tag, float to the right, to just copy and paste that. Copy, paste, 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 all the ones going to the right, then just double click and swap out your image. That would have been the production technique that I would have used to solve this issue. Make a change, save a change.